Hey everybody. Um, hi, it's Michelle. Uh, I am less than 48 hours away from my surgery. I'm so excited. Um, Friday was a nightmare of a day. Um, super stressful, very stressful. Um, my surgery got canceled by my original surgery center that had been booked since August the 15th. And I was pretty pissed, I'll tell you that much. Um, they called me on Thursday. The nurse wanted to ask me some questions and then they just ended up canceling my surgery. And my surgeon was furious, I was furious, and I ended up calling the director of nursing there and she called me back. And come to find out, when you fill out your, um, your online uh, health history statement, be very careful about what you put in the section that says, what are you most concerned about with your surgery? I put two things, um, extra hospitalization. So I was concerned about being hospitalized longer than I needed to because I have things that I've got to do this week. I actually have to travel on Friday, just a few days after my surgery. Uh, to go to Arizona to see my son. Um, and two, I put that I was concerned about my level of pain control. If you guys have re uh, listened to my introductory video and my video is all along for the past two weeks, you'll know that I have had multiple surgeries and multiple back surgeries. I have a lot of hardware in my back, full 360 degree fusion with a cage and titanium screws. Um, I also have a pain stimulator in my back that is, uh, their metal leads and then they lead to a battery in my butt, literally. I'm the bionic woman. I have to charge the battery. It's back here in my butt. I have to charge it and then you can adjust your pain control and that is implanted in me forever. So I put that I was concerned about my pain management and they canceled because of one, I have multiple sclerosis and I'm a fall risk and I have to get up and walk every few minutes. So they basically discriminated against me for having MS. And two, because I expressed concerns about hospitalization and pain control, they felt like they wouldn't be able to properly control my pain at their facility. Um, so luckily enough, my surgeon's office was able to um, find another location that's still really close for me but it is ending up costing me $4,000 more than I had originally planned. And as you guys know, I'm self-pay um, and I have care credit, so I'm using that as my self-pay and the reversals for the payment that I have already made, the almost $3,800, isn't gonna show up by Tuesday when I have my surgery. So I'm gonna end up having to put this on a credit card and then fight the hospital to reverse it and put it back on my care credit. So it's gonna be a nightmare, but I'm not worried about it because I am 100% stress-free. Let me tell you guys what I did yesterday. And I'll try to see if I can merge some videos of the experience into this, but um, I through a baby shower for a friend of mine's daughter um, who she is one of my son's closest friends and she's like another daughter to me and I threw her baby shower. Her little one is already six months old so it's been a while back and her mom got me a gift card to um, Frisco Float. Um, the float place is what it is and it is actually a float tank and sensory deprivation. It's used for very high levels of stress. It's used for um, the folks that are that have medical issues or handicaps. They can go in and they can float even if they're paralyzed because there's so much Epsom salt and magnesium salt in the water that it just naturally lifts your body up and you float without any effort. I was blown away. So you go into this place and I made a little live video for my friends and I'll see if maybe I can paste that in here. But you go in and it's all in a room by itself and you walk in and there's this like alien looking tub and it, it's opened up and it glows kind of purple and you can adjust the lights. You can make it have that kind of blue glowing light or you can go completely in the dark 
or you can do what they call a chakra rainbow, which is just different colors. And you get in and you, I mean, you can't even sit on the ground because the, the salt automatically lifts you up. It's only about this deep. It wasn't deep at all. Um, but the salt lifts you up. And then if you're not, if you're claustrophobic, you're probably not going to want to do this or you're going to need to leave the pod open. But once you get in and you select your lighting and everything, then you grab the handles and you close yourself into this pod. Water's warm and um, you pick music if you want music up at the front i chose this really nice like a, almost like a whale sound ocean sound very relaxing to play through the whole hour and a half that i was in there some people can choose to just have the music play at the beginning um, and then it stops in silence and then it plays again at the end to let you know that your time's almost up but i had the music playing the whole time and i loved it i fell asleep three different times. I woke myself up snoring, just laying there, just floating around because you can't drown. I mean, you're not going to like sink below the water no matter what you weigh. Um, it lifts you up. I think 300 pounds is the cutoff for it. Um, but it, you know, it was a great experience. So I did that for an hour and a half and I'm telling you, you shower before you go in, you rinse off all the oils and everything. You get in and then you float. And by the time you wake up, any part of you that got underneath the water that's up above the water now is covered in salt. So you get out and they have a shower, they have shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, they have lotion because it makes, it, it is salt, so it does dry your skin out, makes you very dry. Um, I put the conditioner and stuff in my hair, um, but I'm gonna wash it again tomorrow and deep condition it like I usually do. It looks a little better than it does right now, but the most relaxing experience of my life. I felt like 20 years of constant stress, the stress of my mom being sick, um, the worry about the surgery and things like that has been completely gone, still gone all day today. I don't think there's a thing in the world that could have given me any anxiety or stress after that experience. After I did the float tank, I did uh, the hydro massage too. And if you don't think you'd want to float, but you want to go and try something different, you leave your clothes on for the hydro massage. You lay down in this table and it is also a pod that they close over you. But if the it's like plastic, like loose plastic, and it fills up with water. So it, it fills in every little crevice of your body. You're laying face down. They put lavender drops. It's like when you go in to have a massage or to the chiropractor, you put your head down in the table and they put lavender on the little liner and um, it, it complies or goes along with all of your curves and you choose how hard you want it to be, if you want it to alternate between soft and hard, but um, you have a little controller and you can pause it in a certain spot. So if you have kinks in your back that you wanna have worked out or in your shoulders, you can pause that warm water um, on a specific spot. I paused it several times in my lower back and um, in my shoulders around my neck. Um, you can actually adjust it. You can make it like harder or you can make it softer if it's like hurting your back. I can't get massages by human beings. I would love to have a Swedish massage, but I can't do that because if anyone gets within like this far of my lower back, I have been to the point where I'm actually temporarily paralyzed and can't get off the table because the nerves, there's so much damage in my back that I don't want you know, people even manipulating anywhere near it has caused that problem. I had no issues with this massage yesterday. I mean, it, this changed my life. I'm gonna, after I get done with my surgery and all that stuff, I'm gonna um, go ahead and buy a membership, probably go do it like once a month. Um, for an hour and a half, I think it was $110, which you can choose anywhere from 30 minutes up to an hour and a half. I just knew, um, need, that I needed the longest time for the longest stress relief and I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, I get hot really easily. I'm menopausal and um, I can't take estrogen after my pulmonary embolism issues a few years ago. So I did at one point have to stop and like open the pod back up and let some cool air in to cool off. And then I was able to close it again, but by far one of the best experiences of my entire life as far as 
stress relief and just feeling good. Um, the magnesium in the Epsom salt is proven to remove the toxins from your body. Um, I've been staying super hydrated today because even after a regular massage, you need to be able to, to hydrate because it's flushing all this toxins out of your body. But my gosh, I feel amazing. Literally like I, I took 20 years of stress and threw it out the window. I feel like a whole new person today. And in less than 48 hours, I am going to be a whole new person. And a year from now, I'm going to look like a completely different person. So I'm really, really excited um, about my surgery. So my best friend's coming over tomorrow night. Maid's coming in the morning. Um, I wanted the maid to come make sure that the house is all clean and spotless. And my best friend comes tomorrow evening. She's going to spend the night and I have to be at the hospital at 530 in the morning. Um, I got all my prescriptions from my doctor mailed to the house and I have an anti-nausea medication, anti-medic that I uh, have to take two hours before my surgery and it lasts it's an extended release uh, anti-nausea medication. So I've got that in my purse all ready to go. My hospital bag is packed. Um, and I'll probably show you guys what's in my hospital bag. I am not staying in the hospital overnight. I'm just going to be in an observation status at an um, outpatient surgery center, which is really good because I thought I was going to have to be in the hospital. So uh, fingers crossed, no complications or anything. Um, but I think it will go okay. I wanted to show you guys the protein water that I got. This was, these are really heavy. This was a suggestion that I saw from a person that I follow on um, YouTube and another person on Pinterest. This is Premier Protein. They make actually excellent shakes too. You can get them at Costco. You can get them at Kroger. You can get them, um, I think at Walmart or you can get them on Amazon online. But I actually ordered these Premier uh, Clear Protein Drinks as a tropical punch flavor. I've heard a lot of people say that they are they have a really difficult time getting in their protein for about the first three days, especially the day of surgery. And I think I've told you guys already, I don't like protein shakes, I'm not a fan of those. So um, I had people talking about how they couldn't um, tolerate the shake, your taste buds change after the surgery and they couldn't tolerate the super sweetness of the shake or the consistency of the shake. So people chose to um, get this uh, Premier Protein Clear. Jenico makes one also, but the Premier Protein Clear drink, it has 20 grams of protein, 90 calories and zero grams of sugar. Um, some people just drink it out of their little one ounce cups to get their protein in. Others um, freeze it and turn it into popsicles. So I think that's a really good idea. I may just pop a couple bottles in the freezer and then I can um, chop them up and make them kind of like a slushy or just take them out of the freezer, stick them in the fridge and let it um, thaw out a little bit. The other thing I've heard people say is they can't really tolerate cold um, drinks. So, uh, some people are saying that they have to warm their water up and like sip it like a warm tea. So I'm going to be curious to know what changes um, about my taste buds and my ability to tolerate different temperatures and different tastes and things. It doesn't last forever. Um, the first few days after surgery are really challenging for me. They're going to be especially challenging things. I have to go to Arizona um, with a family emergency, but that's okay. I'll, um, I'll be able to manage. I'm going to take my protein with me. I've got my shaker um, that I'm going to pack uh, and protein powders. I'll pack all of that almost like I used to do when I traveled with the kids with formula and stuff. Um, I should be able to get milk on the, the plane or, you know, at the airport and shake up my protein shakes. Um, so I, I don't have any issues with that. I think it'll be fine. I'll throw some ice in into the protein shake and just sip it. Um, I bought compression socks today, knowing that I'm going to have to fly. Um, I wanted to make sure because I have a history of blood clots. Um, I got compression socks to wear on the plane. Um, I got a compression garment, an abdomen compression garment to wear on the plane. And then I'm going to uh, check everything. I'm going to use the wheelchair option, of course, to get through the airport. I'm not going to 
overdo it. I'm not going to exert myself. I'll pre-board with a medical condition. I'm going to call American and let them know that that's going to happen, that I'm going to need a wheelchair um, through the airports and everything. And then I'll be in Arizona for about a week. And then I'll come home from there. Everything's okay. I just need to be there uh, for my son uh, for a few days. Everything's fine. Um, but I want to go out there and be able to support him. So he's going to be fine. Um, I had a lot of people. I, I'm on a lot of different Facebook groups. The one with my surgeon is actually a really good group. But I also joined um, Berrytastic. And I also joined a couple of different bariatric groups on Reddit. I don't know if you guys have Reddit or if you've ever used it. But um, I'm on there. My son turned me on to Reddit. And it's been just invaluable to follow some of the communities um, and, you know, get anonymous feedback on some of the questions that you have without having to identify yourself. So it's actually pretty good. Um, what else? So I posed the question out there on the Facebook um, uh, groups and a lot of people like, flew to Mexico or they go to other countries to have this surgery done and then within 48 hours they're on a plane coming back to the United States. So should be a non-issue and then I'll just take it easy while I'm there. Um, and everything will be fine, I'm sure. So um, I'm going to have to stock up on protein shakes. I have started using three scoops instead of two because one of my challenges is not eating. So when I drink these protein shakes, I'm getting that little extra scoop of protein. It actually also makes it thicker, a little easier for me to tolerate. But I'm getting that extra protein mixed in with the milk, um, knowing that I have a super busy life and I want to be able to get my protein in for the day. Um, I'm getting in anywhere from 70 to 90 grams of protein a day. So 60 to me seems pretty reasonable, but we'll see how I feel about that after I get out of surgery. Um, I bought gas drops, Mylocon that you give babies um, just to use for the, you know, while I'm at the hospital or when I get home the first day. I have chewable um, gas chewables too that's going to be the biggest issue with them piping all the air into you and running it through the stomach to make sure the staples are good you're full of air and full of gas when you come out of surgery so walking helps that but i've got the drops on standby and i've got uh the chewables on standby i'm still going to be probably dealing with that by the time i have to catch a flight um late friday night so um, I've got everything kind of prepared. I'm going to pack for my trip tomorrow so I don't have to do that after surgery. It's only going to take a small uh, bag, but I'm still going to check it. I'm still going to pay to check it because I don't want to be lifting things around that I don't need to be lifting. And I'm going to have to take a smaller purse because my purse is the size and weight of a small toddler. It's ridiculous. But it does contain everything that anyone could need. My friends can tell you that. If if anybody's looking for anything it's probably at the bottom of my purse and can be found um so tonight that's really it less than 48 hours i can't believe it's already almost here um can't believe my best friend's already going to be here tomorrow i've got to drop my daughter off at her stepmom's and um she'll be with her for a few days this week until she can get back over here and see me for a couple of days before i leave um I'm going to have to buy protein shakes because I'm almost out of protein powder. That's what I was saying about adding the extra scoop in is I'm running a little low on protein powder, but I'll get that taken care of. I can order that stuff on Amazon or just straight from Bariatric Fusion. They can ship it. Um, and then I'm almost out of my protein bars too. I'm just down to chocolate fudge and I don't like the chocolate fudge ones at all. I just have to suck it up and eat them because I ate all the chocolate peanut butters that I had um, already. So that's all I've got left. So that's it for tonight, you guys. I hope you've had a great weekend. I hope you have a nice day off tomorrow. If you're off for Labor Day, I am. Um, in preparation for my surgery, I'm gonna get to go to bed a little early tomorrow night so we can get up and get this knocked out. And then I'm excited to chronicle how, you know, what goes on at the hospital and how I feel afterwards. So um, you guys will be seeing my best friend. She has permission to film me as long as I'm not snoring. I'll give that disclaimer there. Might very well be, we'll see. But I'm gonna try and keep this as real as possible for you guys and kind of walk you through how um, incredibly painful this is gonna be. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all. 
So thanks for tuning in, you guys. As always, hit your subscribe below if you want to follow my journey. Turn your notifications on so you can see when I post a new video. And I will make another video with what's in my hospital bag tomorrow. Bye, guys.